Let's look at our second practice problem uh, dealing uh, with sample problem C here in chapter 4. Um, the net force, again, we're, we're looking to be dealing with Newton's second law, which is uh, mathematically represented as F equals MA. So we have the net force on a golf cart is 390 newtons north. Okay, so we have a value for F. If cart has a total mass of 270 kilo, uh, kilo, kilograms, okay, that's going to be my value for mass, what are the magnitude and direction of the cart's acceleration? Okay, so we're being asked to solve for acceleration. So let's divide both sides of the equation by M, and so we end up with A is equal to F divided by M. Now, as we get started with these types of problems, there's really, we're giving you net force. Okay, we're giving you net force. Understand that there, there's going to come a time where we actually have uh, two forces operating in not exactly the same direction, or even perfectly opposite directions, and you're going to have to calculate the net force and then use this, okay, use this equation. But right now we're starting simple. I'm actually telling you what the what net force is. So net force, 390 newtons, okay, uh, and then that's going to be divided by our mass, which was... 270 kilograms. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, I don't have my calculator set up. What am I thinking? So 390 divided by 270. Calculator tells me 1.4444444444. That's not how many values I'm going to uh, report. It looks like I should be reporting two significant figures. Because there is no decimal after that zero, uh, because there is no decimal after the zeros in, uh, in 390 and 270, that makes that final trailing zero not significant. So there's really only two significant figures uh, in each of those terms, so that means I'm going to round to that plot. So I have 1.4. Now, let me remind you of the, the units here. I have a Newton divided by kilograms. Remember, a Newton a kilogram multiplied by meters per second squared. That's what a newton is. So when I divide newtons, which is also yes, when I divide that by kilograms, kilograms cancel, then I'm left with only the unit for acceleration, which is nifty because that's what I was asked to solve for. Uh, oh, I almost forgot again, practice problem one, I also forgot to include the direction because acceleration is a vector quantity. And in practice problem one, uh, uh, the video just before this, I, I forgot to include the direction, which in that case would have been forward, right? 2.2 meters per second squared forward. Forgot to do that. <clears throat> Let's have me not forget this time. So what direction do we have? We have north, okay? So I'm going to squeeze this in there. North. Okay, uh, 1.4 meters per second squared north. 